in today's video. Hi hey guys, welcome to today's video featuring the newly arrived uh, giant banana roach Panclora SP Nivea. Thank you for thank you to RJ for helping me identify the species. The other variant would be the normal Panclora Nivea which would be smaller than these. These are the giants. You can see that they are slightly uh, paler than the normal ones if you are familiar with the normal variant. This is a male measuring 18 millimeters and this is a female measuring 28 uh, according with RJ, the the normal Panclora Nivea will max out the females will max out at 23 millimeters, and the giants max out at 28. So the female here has 26. So I got uh, I got some breathing pairs around 12 breathing pairs and uh, some other nymphs now they're all hiding and uh, this is not the first time I, I've kept this species this species last time uh, in my early stages of roach keeping I also had a colony but I totally let them dry out. I was totally unaware of the importance of humidity and heat for this species. So um, they, these roaches are commonly known as, as banana roach. And the reason is because they normally I found um, in other places of, in the world by being transported on uh, on banana on bananas and banana leaves uh, besides that as you can see the their coloration is a light green to a darker green with some yellow stripes uh, which fade out to almost white and probably also because of that people might think that they are called banana because of that commonly uh, it's also known that these roaches do very poorly in transportation uh, the females tend to stress out and abort their uthicas so that's the reason why I got uh, many pairs and some nymphs if the females all end up dying I can still try to breed the established uh, nymphs here's a good side-by-side -side of a male and a female these can climb plastic and glass very well they can also fly very well uh, but I find them absolutely fascinating I think they are very fun roach species to keep and yeah I'm excited to have them again in the collection hopefully this time they will do much better uh, so I have cork slabs let me just put this back so the substrate the substrate is cocoa fiber covered with uh, dried leaves cork slabs in which the the roaches are hiding 
think you can see one there and there are many more behind this one as you can see sorry for the focus I think they prefer to stay stay where there is uh, less ventilation at this moment I don't think I can see any nymphs here but they are dark almost brown yeah so I'm trying this species again after one year from the original colony so let's see how they do I'll update you probably in one or one month and a half or so these are pretty chill right now because the temperature is has actually lowered here in Macau uh, due to the heavy rains we try to handle this one a little bit see what happens oh. please cooperate or I'll have to eliminate you, joking. I just want to share some love. Yeah. Stunning, oi! I was going to say, stunning little green roach. So, this is it for today's video. A new colony in the collection, Panclora sp giant or the giant green banana roach. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if any of you have ever kept this species, what you think about them. And yeah, see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!